Adam's assurance came after community members pleaded with the government to open up a school, stressing their children are denied education due to the lack of school facilities in the area. The school, which was constructed in 2017, could not be opened due to a lack of water and electricity. The partially built school has a block of three classrooms, an office and toilet facilities. Adams noted that the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, in conjunction with a mixed local development committee, are busy compiling a database to determine the number of learners from the settlement who attend school in various areas around Ventuk. The ministry is also trying to sort out the staff complement and setting up a septic tank for water supply. A contractor is on site at present to build more classrooms and hopefully the school will be ready to open still within the first trimester. In an interview with Nampa, Executive Director in the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Sanet Stienkamp also confirmed that the contractors at the school are busy with electricity and water installation. A community leader from the informal settlement, Jonas Nifikwa, told Nampa that parents were eager to see the school open its doors in 2023. Yet, their fate remains the same as in previous years. Many of the parents say their children do not attend school as they cannot afford $600 a month on taxi fare to boarding schools.